As you guys know on my channel, I love finding and showcasing the best tower combinations in blue and Seabows 2. And today we showcase a really good dark combination which could shred BAD's late game and that is the Plasma Monkey Fan Club and the Super Riddle. Now this combination is actually really good as well because Dart Monkey was heavily buffed in the most recent update with the base price dropping from 200 to 150, very quick shots dropping from 150 to 100, and the crossbow as well getting buffed dropping from 475 to 450 dollars. So with those new dart buffs in mind, we are using Dart Monkey in the strategy of Dart, Ice, and Village and applying a bunch of buffs to the Dart Monkey such as Super Riddle, Homeland Defense, Primer, Mentoring, and we brought Gwendolyn along with it as well to get the Firestorm damage buff. So if you're ready to see that Plasma Monkey fan club go crazy, make sure to hit that like button and see if we can get 500 likes on today's video. Alright, our first match of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is on the map of Sun Palace with the strategy Dart, Ice, and Village, believe it or not. I've used Dart, Ice, and Farm on this map before. It's an excellent strategy, so I want to try the Eco variant of it and bring Village instead of, um, bring Village instead of Farm here and see how this ends up playing out. So, yeah, we're against Ensheath here, who's starting with their Druid. So fair enough there. And we will see um, what's cooking. I think they brought Oban as well, so I expect Druid sub farm for my opponent. Now, what do I want to start off with here is the question of the day. I want to stole these rounds. It's going to be really important. But stolen the rounds on this map is easier said than done. This map is tends to be anti-stalled quite a bit. So I don't exactly know how I want to um, go about this. I guess I'll just play it like I usually do and let the rounds stall out, anti-stall if they do. I'll get the crossbow up as I usually do on this map. One eco boost, I get my crossbow up. Yeah. And we'll send them some blues. We want to keep this on last, by the way. I yeah, keep crossbow on last. The crossbow anti stalls, though, is the thing. Maybe? Hmm. No, I think we just keep it on last either way. As I was say, maybe I can micro its targeting from like last and first and stuff to avoid anti stalling. Um, but it's, 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 we just gotta accept it. We just gotta accept the anti stall, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to accept it. We'll send some pinks their way. We'll balloon boost these. Actually, balloon boosting them probably does nothing because they would they just need to get their druid leaks in either way, and then they can throw down a brambles. I don't know if balloon boosting them. Oh, they, we actually did force an early lightning. Never mind, because normally they get their lightning up on round five, so we forced a lightning on round four there with the balloon boost. So I'll take that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now, a good thing for us is we don't really need any other defense until like round uh, nine with what we currently have. This this crossbow and this Gwendolyn defend everything really well early game. So. We're chilling. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to have as my round 11, round 13 defense with this loadout. I'm trying to theorize with what I want to have defensively. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe a Jug and an Icicles. Maybe something like that. I don't... Hmm. A Jug and an Icicles. Could maybe work out. Yeah, we're good against all these balloons. Soon I'll throw down a cocktail just to um stop chasing. Yeah, let's throw in a cocktail now. Oh crap, I send green balloons all through round six. Normally you'd want to send black balloons in round six instead of greens. I kind of just zoned out for a second. We'll still be able to send them quite a bit of yellows just because my defense is so cheap, but I yeah, definitely misplayed that a little bit. It's balloon boost. Okay, we actually forced their Druid of Wrath. I don't think I needed a balloon boost that. They were buying the Druid of Wrath anyways. It's fine though. My eco is actually really good here. These rounds have gone stalled a little bit, surprisingly. Look at this, 750 eco. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so our Juggernaut will go right about here. You want to place it as low as possible because it has a pretty good line of fire from here. This will be our Jug spot. Send him some Zebras. And our Icicles will go right here. Juggernaut. Keep this on last. We'll target the cocktail right there. Cryo cannon. Strong. Just send me a rush here. I can cocktail as well. I should be chilling. Enhanced eyesight. And then on round 13, I'll get the icicles up. Will be the plan. Okay, one more eco boost to get my icicles up. I definitely greeted a little bit too much because I can't afford the icicles right away, but we're good. Oh, I still can't afford it. We're fine. The opponent didn't rush me. Opponent didn't rush me. Icicles is up now. All right, we're good. Should be a pretty strong defensive structure now. Against rushes that could come my way. Uh, well, the only problem is my icicles is kind of chasing. I don't really like that. Maybe keep icicles on last. 
But then I'll anti-stall. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how I should have played my defense. This seems like it's working, though. Decently well. My eco is not bad either. For especially how this map is. 1250 eco on this round is not um not a terrible position to be in. The only thing about this strategy is it's a pure eco strategy. So I don't have any druids. I don't have any helis. I don't have any snipers making me money. I've just got to rely on my eco and only my eco to be my money making. So trying to get a strong eco is very important here. Another thing with how my defense is currently built is I have zero Moab popping power. I just realized. So they do send me a Moab. I'm going to have to get like a sharpshooter or something. Which I'll place right here. Yeah, my, my stuff I currently have down does not really do Moab damage at all. My eco's not bad though. Look at this. Yeah, I've greeted really well with my eco. Let's actually build this up to a crossbow already. Just so then I can easily get the sharpshooter in case he does send me a rush. If he sends me a fortified Moab, I'll just crossbow, sharpshooter, and boost. Will be the plan. Yeah, there it is. Boost. I need very quick shots on this. That should defend now. Yeah. And if he re-rushes me, I can get Gwendolyn level 10 ability. Now, something I want to do this round, now that we've got over 2k eco, our eco is actually pretty solid now. I want to start sending them some zebra balloons, especially with the end of this round AI, which is going to be some ceramics. The zebras mixed in with the AI ceramics should be able to um, overrun their reactor druid pretty well. They're going to need some additional defense, or they're going to need a boost or something. Yeah, they use a tower boost. Even with tower boost, though, it might get a little... No, they're good, they're good. I say, it might get a little spooky, but... Looks like they're fine. Okay, we're gonna start saving up for a increased eco village now, will be the plan. Around 21 AI. Let's actually send them some zebras with this AI as well, because this, this round has pretty strong AI. I think they have, should have trees available, though. They're sending me a BFB. Okay. They use another boost. Never mind. Yeah. We just prepare fan club here. Fan club. And we use Firestorm as well with this. This should defend pretty easily. I don't even know. Firestorm's probably not needed there, to be honest. The fan club is so good. Okay, Monkey Town now. Yeah, Firestorm was not smart there, because now I don't have Firestorm for this guy. Oh, no. Why did I use Firestorm there? We're good? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't think I even needed the second fan club there. Boost in my first fan club would have defended. I just put myself in a weird position by firestorming the BFB rush, because Firestorm is such a um important piece of defense that not having it for the ZMG was bad. And I could have defended those BFBs, I think, without it. But either way, we defended. And that's all that matters. Also, why am I still eco? My opponent's dead to DTs. We can defend DTs with our current defense pretty easily. The fan club with the uh, Embrits and especially Firestorm just shred uh, DTs, so DTs are not a problem for me. But we'll just send a lot their way. Okay, he's trying to first strike them. That's not going to work because I can just send a ton. Yeah, they're dead. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next game with the strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. This might not even be the best map for it, too. Dart Ice is really strong on this map, but the only problem is the anti-stall. So if we get a different map, you know, try it out. All right, our next match with Dart Ice and Village is on the map Star here. Now, guys, this is going to probably be a lot harder than Sun Palace for me because I've never really used Dart on this map before. So I don't know about the placements. I don't know about the order of upgrades. I don't know about necessarily how you want to play it. But we're going to Incognito here, starting with their Bomb Shooter. I'm going to try, try a Trip Dart start. A little Trip Dart start here. 
right here yeah mr max we'll get him down now they're going yeah they're going bomb sub farm here they brought star captain jericho as well so it's going to be a pretty difficult matchup for me most likely but we'll see what we can work with here we'll see what we can work with. quick shots on this perfect very quick shots all right should be able to defend decently early game the reason why i didn't want to do a crossbow um like i did last game is because if i placed a crossbow it'd probably be placed like up here right and it would be anti-stalling the rounds it'd be popping the balloons early so i want to make sure i'm stolen the rounds to the best of my ability here uh, with this strategy it's going to be important to get the more eco so the trip dart here though they got their frag bombs up nicely done and we will just keep on max eco and keeps on last i don't even know how i want to play like round 13 as well like how am i going to defend round 13 on this map because the the jug spots are all right they have decent lines of fire i might i might go more ice heavy though like an icicles and uh icicles and then i can boost and then if they're re-rush i can get like an arctic wind i don't know might do something with ice against round 13. all right we forced their uh cluster bomb up though that's great send some pinks okay, this this will not defend pinks i'm pretty sure hmm what do i do against pinks here i need to actually like make decisions instead of just stalling we'll get razor sharp shots we'll go for a crossbow back here How's this going to do? Can I, help you? I have all my defense centered more back, more towards the back of the map, so I stole the rounds as well. Yeah, they boost. They're good. They have sharp shots on this. All right, seems like this is doing decent. Oh, we're sinking. All right, we're back. Okay. Yeah, it seems like this is kind of working out. Somewhat. Wait, did they sell their star captain and they replaced it? Oh, that's bad for my opponent. Very bad for them. I don't know how that even happened. Maybe they got like messed up when it was sinking or whatever. They somehow sold the star captain. And now it's invisible. What, what is going on, chat? And there's a, wait, there's a farm on the map somehow. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that star captain's a farm? Bro, <laughs> what am I witnessing? I think it's just all these like glitches just came about when the game synced. There's an invisible farm. There's an invisible Star Captain Jericho. There's no, there's Star Captain Jericho's right here still. You can see the animations. Okay. So they didn't sell Star Captain. Yeah, they're stealing from me right now. Okay. I see. I see. So when we saw them place the Star Captain, I think we that was actually a farm that they placed. All right. Really glitchy. I think all the glitches started with that one sinking as well. What happened? All right. I want to figure out how I'm going to play my plan my defense here so do i go for an icicles this is the question of the day i could also try sharpshooter i don't know if sharpshooter even does anything against balloons though i normally only go for that against moabs i feel like it's probably not the best balloon option i right, send me those let's just go for sharpshooter because i i i don't know i got scared i got scared guys i'll be honest i got a little scared all right they got three farms on their side nicely done okay the sharpshooter pop frozen balloons i'm gonna hope it does well, i guess if i get the icicles up the balloons aren't necessarily frozen they're just icified okay they got four farms on their side i think they sold a farm what what is going on yeah. round 13 rolls around i'm gonna get the icicles up um i don't think it pops frozen balloons judging by the fact that i almost died against stuff because it was frozen okay we're fine though i just sell my trip dart trip dart i feel like it's not doing much for me all right, this seems like a decent defensive setup. If he sends me a big rush, I'll boost against it, and then re-rushes, I'll get an Arctic Wind, is my idea. Now, I could send them Ceramics and force defense, but the thing is, I actually kind of don't want to force a Reactor on their side, believe it or not. The reason why I don't really want to force a Reactor on my opponent's side is because if they get a Reactor up, the Reactor does a really good job of popping the balloons quickly um, in combination with the Cluster, so it'll anti-stall farther for them. We really don't want to anti-stall the rounds right now. Okay, that actually defended those rainbows that they sent me pretty well. Seems like a decent defensive combination. We, we kind of cooked with this one, guys. We kind of cooked with it. Aiko's not bad either. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the ice is kind of anti-stalling a little bit. What if I keep it on, like, first? I don't think that really makes a difference, does it? Nah. All right, all right, all right. We're getting into the Moab rounds now, though. So if they send me a Moab class rush, what do I do? Go for a second sharpshooter, maybe? They might be sending me one right now. I think this defends. Wait, he's sending me purples behind? Yo, 
Yeah, we're good. Put it on strong. Strong. Yeah, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. We're good. Got the two sharpshooters up. One of them has the increased pierce, so only one of them is super effective against Moabs, but it's fine. What I want to do now as well, I kind of want to stall the rounds out, so... Well, we'll do that later. Let's send them some Zebra Blue Nico this round. Start to mix in some Zebras. I feel like we've played this early game pretty well given the circumstances that I've never really gotten Dart on this map. We've been chilling with it. Right, round 19. What I want to do this round is go for an Ice Tower up top to stall the Ceramics to stun stall the round out. So you'll see what I do here. Ice up here, we're gonna go for, um, we're gonna go for Enhanced Freeze and Refreeze. And what this is gonna do is this infinitely stalls Ceramics uh, in the range of it. So you'll see there, you can kind of tell that there's some there's a Ceramic stalled. So in this way, the rounds are getting stalled really well on my side. Went for a Ballistic Missile on their side, that's interesting. Send them some more Zebra Balloons. Okay, we're chilling against that Moab. They actually go for an impact on their side. Oh my gosh, they're struggling against my Zebra Blue Nico. I'm not going to lie. Kind of struggling. Let's, send them a, let's use a, a Cocteau here against the AI. Yeah, we're good. Plan now will just be to save up for a um, increased eco village. Are they star shipping something at me? They might be. But no, they're using uh, it's gonna be a ZMG, uh, okay. And yeah, we're good. We got Super Monkey Fan Club against this, and we'll probably Firestorm as well. That should work out pretty well for us. Okay, yeah, defended pretty nicely. It worked. Flip where my village now get increased eco coming in here. That worked out well. I still have three boosts available as well, which is actually fantastic here. I think I've played this game pretty well. Not really made very many mistakes, huh? Something I'd like to do is go for a primary mentoring, camo detection. We're gonna range buff it as well. All right, perfect. Now, I'd actually want to move my Embrit. So, what you'll see here is... One sec. Let's figure this out. We're going to go for an Arctic Wind right here. And we're going to go for a Embrit right here. Perfect. Let's not die against AI. We're good. So we're fine. Okay, we're fine. He tried choke rushing with DTs, didn't work. Alright. What is that? A normal ZMG or fortified? It's fortified. Okay, let's go for a um primary expertise here. Should we get a my firestorm here soon. On. We're good. I don't think I even need firestorm there to be honest to defend that. Firestorm is not necessary. All right, plan here is gonna be to we'll get an icicle and pale in the back eventually. We've defended all their rushes well. They still have good farms on their side. It's the one thing, but this snowstorm up on this. DMG, BAD. It's just one. I think I just used three, um, three fan clubs against this. Triple fan club this, guys. Because you can stack fan clubs now. I for oh, forgot to tell you guys that. And then we'll get Icicle and Pale as well. I'll start to save up for my, um... Crap, the fan clubs are out now, aren't they? Forgot about that.
Where's the... F yeah. I need Plasma Monkey here. Almost there. Boost. Okay, this should defend pretty well. Plows Monkey Fan Club. Go crazy. Okay, this is actually defending really well. I forgot that you have to micro this stuff, which makes it kind of difficult sometimes. Okay, we're doing good. Sending me another fortified BD. Eventually, I'm gonna want to micro that Plasma Monkey Fan Club. Wait, do I have to micro it at this point? I almost have it back. Wait for it. Almond defense. You can sell the Plasma Fan Club after you use the ability and it still works, by the way. We're defending. Plasma Fan Club. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, it's so hard to afford everything, but we, we got it done. Look at that. What's the opponent's going to do? I don't think they're out of money. I think they're out of money here. Yeah, you can you can use the Plasma Monkey Fan Club, sell it, and all the darts are still plasmified, and then you can use um, Home and Defense, which is what I just did. Works out pretty well. All right, we're going to send them a Fortified BD now, I guess. Let me wait for it until I have my Plasma Monkey Fan Club ability back in case they DT counter me. I, ha I pretty much have it back now. All right. Yeah, they're not defending this at all. They're probably gonna send me infinite DTs. I'm guessing. Pretty soon. Where is it? Where is it? Are we sending them? Ready, set, annihilate. <laughs> Dude, the... The abilities used in combination just shred with the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. It's so satisfying to watch. Oh man, that was a good game, bro. We defended a lot that game. I'm not even going to lie. I, I felt good about that one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the new strategy of Dart, Ice, Village, and Science Gwen down in the comment section below. Um, I don't know. I'm going to definitely experiment with Dart, Ice more in the future. Dart, Ice Farm is a fantastic strategy too. So yeah, 